hello good people and welcome to the gadget inspector channel uh, well I'm just getting you started right away taking a look at the camera quality uh, of the 1080p uh, action camera that uh, is included with the Blomkey 506 HG I believe it's called <laughs> if I got that wrong I'll put the uh, correct uh, name up on the screen well uh, as you can see it's pretty darn good quality now you are seeing the landing gear and part of the uh, actual body of the quadcopter uh, being captured in the shot um, the action camera does have a wide angle lens it's just kind of inevitable that uh, some of the quad will be captured in the shot uh, now you could mount some wider landing gear uh, to prevent that and since the uh, camera mount is tiltable you could just uh, tilt it down and as you can see here just giving you um, a wide look at the camera pretty good camera as I mentioned before and uh, you can remove the camera and use it for other purposes uh, so it's not a bad deal uh, last time I checked this quadcopter was going for about a hundred dollars uh, so the fact that you're getting a action camera in addition to the quadcopter I think uh, I think it's pretty good value so you can see here it's not going to be GoPro quality or anything like that but most of the time the cameras that come on these uh, toy gray quadcopters like this are they're usually 720p and they are not this good this is uh, this is really really good quality and obviously you can make that uh, make that assessment on your own here but yeah we're gonna take a look at uh, everything that comes in the box and then we're gonna do a proper flight test but I wanted to make sure to highlight this camera right away um, because I think it's uh, one of the things that makes this a pretty good bargain um, out there on Amazon. So just coming on in for a landing here. And you can see how stable it is. Very little wind here today. Uh, just, a, just a pretty stable quadcopter. And it is a big boy. It's about the same size as a SEMA X8G. And uh, we're landing here. All right, so coming up uh, next is uh, a quick look at the contents of the box. And then we will do the flight test subsequent to that. All right, so stick with me and thanks for stopping by. Okay, now the box is showing a different camera from the one that actually comes with the quad, so I guess there's another version of it or something. But here are the full contents of the box, and I can barely fit everything in the shot. Here's the 1080p action camera. This is how the batteries come wrapped, in aluminum foil. <laughs> You get a total of three batteries, which is great. They are 7.4 volt, 2000 milliamp hour batteries with the banana connector, just like the X8G and the Bang Toys X16 use. Now, the camera does connect to your phone via Wi-Fi and an app, but you won't be able to use it for FPV. Uh, that's really just for close proximity viewing the camera from your phone. You get two screwdrivers and you get a four gigabyte micro SD card and USB reader. This is the camera mount. It has dampeners on it so we'll see if it eliminates jello. Two sets of props. Landing gear. And you get this charger here. They also include this splitter so you can charge all three batteries at the same time. Prop guards. 
Here's a quick comparison to the Tarantula X6 and the SEMA X5C, and it's just for a size reference. It looks like this quad uses the same motors that the SEMA X8 series uses, and they are plug and play, so that makes them easy to replace. It has an on off switch. Here's the battery bay. Instructions manual. And here's the controller. Everything is labeled, so that makes things pretty easy. The camera buttons don't work with the action camera though. I like the LEDs on this one. You can see there are lights around that front part there, as well as uh, under each motor. Should be a good night flyer. All right, that's what you get with the quad. Now it's time to do our flight test, so let's go. go. Okay, good people, how y'all doing? Uh, so, <laughs> we have been blessed with an absolutely beautiful day here. Uh, right in the middle of winter. It's about 45 degrees. We're supposed to get up to about 50. Got some intermittent clouds here, but uh, I can see some blue and the sun is out. So I don't think I could have asked for anything better. It is a bit windy, so I do apologize if you're picking, getting uh, some of that noise uh, uh, picked up uh, in the action camp. Nonetheless, we've got the 506G here, so we're gonna put it in the air. Uh, we're gonna check out flight time and just uh, just see how it flies okay so <clears throat> got my battery in let's go ahead and power it on get it bound okay <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and turn on the action camera and I think what I'll do with this video is I'll give you some footage right up front so you can kind of see the quality of the uh, camera it's good it's good it's 1080p uh, and it's definitely 1080p um, <laughs> now as you can see here already it is a bit of a challenge in keeping uh, either the top of the quad or the landing gear out of the shot um, so I could kind of bend these uh, landing feet to the side a little bit more uh, and as you can see that that could potentially do it and I probably should have did that before I uh, came back out so sorry about that but I think that might work uh, potentially but anyway let's go ahead and get it in the air uh, so let's do a first of all let me uh, reset the gyroscope and accelerometer here make sure everything is nice and level okay we're gonna do an auto start and let's launch and as you can see you can see the direction of the wind left to right so I'm going to have to go up to the highest rate immediately in order to fight that. Okay, so altitude hold is working pretty good. And from what I saw initially from the video, didn't look like there was a whole lot of jello, maybe a little. And it might be a little more prominent today just because of how much it has to fight the wind okay so let's go ahead and give it some altitude and this is a camera bird is it not let's take it on up <laughs> big bird <laughs> brush brushed motors and Reminds me a lot of my SEMA XAG, which has long been my favorite budget brushed motor uh, aerial platform. Okay, it's getting blown around a little bit by the wind. And I don't know that I would take it any further than that like I still have control pretty good and just trying to control it keep it from being blown too much by the wind and I believe we are in the highest rate I'm just uh, giving it just a little throttle got the flight clock going for you guys so you can see what kind of flight time you get <clears throat> so hopefully you're getting some footage here so you can get a really good idea of 
the performance of that camera. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. Let's do full throttle now. That's full throttle now. It's coming down really slow. Really slow. That's full throttle down now. In the highest rate. Wow. That's really slow. Okay. And it looks like the lights are, are flashing already. <laughs> wow, we haven't been flying that long. All right, well anyway, let me uh, take it out here. Kind of show you how it performs when you push it a little. It does wobble a bit when you do a hard turn. But look at that pitch. Quite a bit of pitch. So you can definitely scoot this thing around if you want. <laughs> nice and steady flyer, man. Nice and steady. Oh, 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 oh that was close. <laughs> now, in the lowest rate, let me go back to the low rate. Nope, I can't do it. I wanted to show you. Oh, it's auto landing. Okay. All right. And the wind causes the tip over. Okay, flight time in the upper left-hand corner. Now, it's while it is about 50 degrees, um, it's still less than optimal uh, in terms of the temperature. So that could definitely affect flight time. Uh, so keep that in mind. And you do get three batteries with this. Okay, uh, you do get three batteries. And it flips and everything. Um, I'm a little hesitant to flip a bird this big, especially with an, you know, it's got this payload. And I think I showed you in the opening uh, that when it flips, it loses quite a bit of altitude. Again, because it is weighty. It's kind of heavy um, carrying this action cam and the mount or whatever. But it has no trouble lifting it. Um, one key return in headless mode. Yeah, let me see if I have the other battery and I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty solid aerial platform. Uh, the only thing, again, if you can uh, figure out a way of uh, keeping the, uh, the landing gear out of the shot, um, this would be a really good one. And you can change out, you can use this mount for uh, a better action cam if you have a GoPro or um, I'll put up in the cards here uh, a really, really good 4K budget action camera. Um, that is about 75 80 bucks, which I highly recommend. Um, so then you get 1080 60 and um, 4K. It's a um, what you call it, an up res, I think you call it, uh, 4K. So it's not an actual 4K, but it looks really good nonetheless. Now, let me see if I have another battery. If not, we'll just go ahead and close out the review. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like I did bring the other battery out. So let's go ahead and launch it off again. And I'll go ahead and show you one key return in headless mode. Let's see if those work okay. And that's pretty much, um, that'll pretty much show you uh, what this thing can do. So let's go ahead and launch. And the wind has died down a little bit, so we're just in the low rate now. Let me show you how steady it flies in that low rate. So that's full pitch and if you tilt the camera just right you can get some real steady footage just like this okay what happened there I don't know if I lost connection there it's dipping again I don't know what's happening there you guys let's bring it back I don't know if the wind is doing something with it come on that's rather strange. Come on. I don't want it to get too close to me because it is a big boy. Okay. Well, anyway, let's test uh, the one key return in headless mode. And we launched off facing this direction, so let's take it out. And I'm just going to hit one key return now. And it is flying back. The wind was blowing it to the right there but I would say that works. 
headless mode okay left right forward and back okay now the significance of the yawing what this is showing you is that right will always be right forward will always be forward left will always be left and back will always be back that's the benefit and beauty of headless mode especially for people who are beginners because one of the hardest things to learn is orientation that is what where the front of the quadcopter is facing okay we're gonna get out of headless mode now and the wind is blowing it a bit and let's go ahead and do a flip if I can okay and as you can see that's why I didn't want to flip it so looks like the camera did, did eject and let's see we still got power here okay so I went ahead and just took off the uh, the camera for now so let's uh, <clears throat> let's see how it performs without that extra weight high rate immediately and let's just fly it whoa it's fast it's definitely fast there's the pitch and it does feel a little bit more nimble this way let's see how it flips now a little better but a little wobbly make sure you have enough altitude if you're gonna do that okay looks like that's our battery already all right let's bring it on back bring it too close to me because it seems like it drops altitude abruptly sometimes like that probably due to the wind it's kind of messing with that barometer all right let's come on over and land it let's hit our auto land button here bring it down nice and easy right on our landing pad there we go good enough <laughs> Okay, woof, big boy. All right, guys, so that was my review of the uh, Blomke 506G uh, with, uh, with a true-to-life action camera that you can take off and use for other purposes. So, uh, and right now, I think this one is priced at about 100 bucks there on Amazon. I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty good value, uh, actually. All right, well, if you like the video, like the video. <laughs> If you're not currently a subscriber, please consider doing so. I got a lot of cool stuff coming, and I try to have fun here. So um, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, quadcopters and gadgets, come on and join us over here. And to my current subscribers, God bless y'all. I appreciate you. Couldn't do it without you. And if you know anybody that might be interested in this quadcopter, share the video with them. And until next time, be good to somebody and be good to yourself. When you can't find the right one to get you, baby, call the gadgets.